Hey everyone, what is going on? So I have another video for you today in the Open Great League and I did these battles on stream and I was having issues with my internet connection so if there's some stutter lag throughout the video I do apologize for that. But the team is Bash Yudan, Shadow Alola, Ninetales and Metachamp. So basically what this team is you really want to RPS your opponent. I mean that's essentially it's what you, you do. If you win the lead you're looking really good. Uh, if you lose the lead it's going to be very difficult especially if there's a steel type in the, in the lead because you can't save swap. You have to stay in and sacrifice the Bash Yudan. Uh, so it could be difficult depending on what's in the lead but um, you know if you get a good lead or at least a neutral lead uh, you're looking pretty good I think uh, but yeah let's go ahead and dive right into the battles and see what we got going on for us as you saw I just took out that um, Bash Yudan and now uh, Metacham is coming in not gonna throw immediately just to see what was gonna come in and it is at Metacham so now I'm gonna go ahead and throw the psychic can I make it to another one? I can, but I think I bait. I do bait because I'm anticipating the shield here because this will get the Metacham low. They don't know what I have in the back besides the Bash Shield on. Uh, now that will allow me to get to another uh, Ice Punch. So I'm going to go ahead and throw the Ice Punch right now into the Metacham. Uh, and I go down and that's totally fine because I have the Charm, Alola Ninetales, and of course Alola Ninetales as well against Dragonair as well. So good game, well played to my opponent. Uh, a team I have seen before with Dragonair in the lead, right? Alright, moving on, picking up a really, really good matchup. Uh, so my opponent switches into Lantern. I'm going to go ahead and go into Alola Ninetales. I, I don't know, like I, I probably should have went into Metacham here. Um, but I didn't, I went into uh, Ninetales. Uh, so my opponent is going to go ahead and throw the Surf. I call the Surf, so that's good. Uh, so my opponent's gonna go ahead and throw another Surf. This one I do have to shield, and I'm gonna go ahead and do just that. Of course I have a dominating matchup. Uh, with the Bash Yudan into Galvantula. So I do have to win Switch. I'm going to go ahead and go for the Psyshock. My opponent shields. I could shield and farm down though. And I'm definitely going to go ahead and do that. Because as I said, got to win Switch. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and shield this. Uh, it's going to be a Surf. That's fine. So I do farm down. I'm assuming that Galvantula is going to come in. And let's see what it's going to be. It is going to be that Galvantula. I am going to be able to make the Weather Ball very nice. Do throw a bad timing, but that's okay. I just want to get off this Weather Ball. Bash Yudan doesn't really care about the energy uh, that Galvantula has. Uh, and it's Metacham in the back. So if I brought in the Metacham against the Lantern and had the Alola Ninetales against this uh, Metacham, that would be really good for me. Uh, but that's okay. That's not what I did. Uh, I'm going to take this Psychic. Still looking really well, but we'll see. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bait now. So I want to bait get the shield and then I want to throw a sidekick to at least get it low so I do get the shield there and we CMP on the sidekick and I am going to be able to win CMP uh, so this is going to connect obviously because the opponent is out of shields my opponent will go ahead and throw an attack sidekick will be enough to KO me but that's fine at least uh, I did all that damage uh, I need to make it to a move before they could possibly counter me down I know the catch is coming I there it is the attempted catch uh, with Galvantula wasn't going to allow it to happen. I knew they had to go for the catch um, to win this game and now I can throw the flamethrower and even though I got debuffed this flamethrower is still going to be enough to KO that Metachem and that is going to be a great game very well played to my opponent. Yeah, very well done. Let's go ahead and move into the next battle. It's going to be Bash Yudan into Trevenant. So this is more or less a neutral matchup. It's not bad. Uh, but Trevenant does have play here. Obviously Shadow Ball hits like a truck. Shadow Claws are adding up. Um, but that's fine. My opponent gonna go ahead and throw an attack. I do shield the first one. It's unlikely to be the bait, and it is the Shadow Ball. Um, so now I could uh, go ahead and throw the Flamethrower. Flamethrower will be enough, I believe, to knock out. So my opponent is gonna go ahead and respect it and shield that. That's fine. Um, do I shield the next one? I think I actually do shield the next one. I do shield this one. Okay, so best shield. I'm gonna go ahead and commit that shield. Gonna be a Shadow Ball. That's fine. Um, and I'm keeping track of energy, and my opponent attempts to catch. Luckily for me, they're not able to. Now I can bring in my Metacham and go for the full fun down. Um, the only thing is that Trevenant left with an attack, right? And Trevenant is going to win CMP over my Metacham. So it's not like I'll be able to get off an Ice Punch or anything against the Trevenant anyway. At least I don't think so. But let's see. I do go ahead and farm down, waiting to see just to see what comes in, just in case it's not the Trevenant. Um... We'll see what decides to come in. Nothing. My opponent actually forfeits, so not feeling confident in that game. Good game, able to take that one. Let's move on. A zoom out. Okay, this is not bad if they don't have Hydro Pump, uh, but I, I guess we'll see if they have Hydro Pump. My opponent probably wants me to attempt to catch or something. I'm going to stay in here because I don't know what they have. Uh, so I do go ahead and throw the Stone Edge right now. 
and uh, this stone is going to connect into that Azumel. Totally fine. My opponent switches. That tells me they don't have Hydro Pump. I go ahead and go into my Alola Nine Tails, um, and my opponent is going to go ahead and throw an attack. I do commit the shield right now, so there we go. Shield coming out. Going to be a Shadow Ball. Makes sense. Uh, and I just go ahead and go for the Weather Ball. I want to get rid of this Trevenant so I could win Switch. Will my opponent let it go? They will let it go. Um, okay, so I do take Switch there. And I know the Azu doesn't have Hydro Pump because I, they, I feel like they would have stayed in if they did, right? So, Azumel is coming in. I'm going to go ahead and take this attack. Going to be a play rough. That's fine. It does a lot, but I'm still able to take it. My opponent actually throws another attack. I thought they were going to fall me down. Maybe they thought I was close to another move, but either way, that's totally fine. Ice Beam will KO me. So it is Ice Beam and Play Rough as expected. Uh, definitely going to bring in the Bastiodon. And what could be in the back? I'm going to go ahead and go for the Stone Edge right now with my wall. The wall face Bastiodon, everyone's favorite Pokemon. Uh, it's Metacham. Ooh, Metacham. A little bit tough here. Would have been nice to have that Alola Ninetales on it, but... As always, it always seems to be a bad shield on in the back, right? Um, so Psyche coming up, but obviously when the Trevenant came in, I couldn't bring in my mana champ. So I'm actually going to go ahead and bait here. Uh, so I do throw the bait, see if my opponent wants to shield this, and my opponent actually calls it. Good call by my opponent. I can go ahead and bait again, but this is looking pretty, pretty rough. I'm going to go ahead and bait and definitely pick up the shield there. Uh, my opponent is going to go ahead and throw an attack. Do I shield this one? I think I do. No, I actually let it go. Okay, it's an Ice Punch. Oh yeah, because I called the Ice Punch and I do live it. So that allowed me to get to another Ice Punch. That's right. So I do get to another Ice Punch. Very nice. That is going to connect. And now in comes my Bash Shield on. Uh, I'm going for that aggressive farm down. Okay, so my opponent throws an attack. It's going to be an Ice Punch. I do shield it. Um, so Ice Punch I don't think would have KO'd me. But my opponent throws another one. And this is going to be a Psychic. This is going to be enough to KO. I was hoping it wouldn't be enough, but it still is enough to KO my opponent. Going to be able to win that with 1 HP. Good game. Good game. Let's go ahead and move into the next one. Bash you down into Trevenant. A good amount of Trevenant leads. Um, but, I mean, this is fine. This is not bad or anything. My opponent switching into Reggie Steel. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in my Metachamp. Hoping that it's not double steel, right? Obviously, uh, as I said, this team is weak. Uh, it's ABA weak to steel. So you do have to keep that in mind. Um, but, you know, if you win the lead, you win swap, you're looking pretty good. Um, so the team's not for everyone, but I think it can work. It depends. Um, you could have good days, you could have bad days. My opponent does get off an attack. I'm going to go ahead and shield this and farm down. Uh, so it's going to be Zap Cannon. I would love to get off the Ice Punch against Trevenant, but I think Trevenant throws right away, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, Trevenant throws right away. Not with the shield, I don't think. I'm just going to go ahead and let the, uh, the Metacham go. It's going to be a Seed Bomb. Uh, that does K. I was hoping I would live that, but no, I don't live that. <laughs> uh, so I can go ahead and bring in my Bash Shield on right now. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and go for the Flamethrower, expecting the shield from the opponent, but they could let it go. We'll see. They do shield it up. Um, okay, totally fine. I'm trying to get to another attack. My opponent gonna go ahead and throw an attack. I'm gonna let this one go. It's gonna be a Shadow Ball. That's fine. Um, and I'm trying to get to another one. Unfortunately, not quite, not quite. But I do live this Shadow Ball, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this one and go for the Flamethrower. Barely living it, but I do get off that Flamethrower. Absolutely incredible. So, I was not expecting the shield. My opponent does shield, so now I can bring in the Nine Tails. And I will see what's in the back. Show me. It's going to be Lantern. Okay. So they need a Thunderbolt to land to pretty much win. So I'm going to go ahead and call the Surf. Uh, call the Surf Bait. And it is a Surf Bait. Let's go. So I'm going to go ahead and go for the Psy Shock. I know my opponent will be able to get to another Surf or a Thunderbolt, whatever. Surf, all, that's all I need. But uh, that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and Charm down and take that win. And that is going to be a good game. Very well played to my opponent. Um, okay, well done. Let's go ahead and move into the next battle. Oh, this game, yeah. This, this, I actually want to use my opponent's team for, an, uh, for a video. It's, it's triple counter, spoiler warning. But it is triple counter. And it's really, it's not, I mean, Bash Udon obviously has nowhere to go. Um, Metacham would be good against the backline because there's a Vigoroth in the backline. And, like, I think an Obstagoon. Um, I don't see my opponent's third Pokemon, but I think it is Obstagoon. They came into the chat and said GG's. Um, so Ninetales would be fine, but unfortunately... I mean, if I went into Nine Tails, I guess that would have been... I didn't know it was Triple Counter, though, um, at the time, of course. So I'm going to just go ahead and go for the Ice Punch. I do want to get to another one, and I'm able to get to another one. My opponent is over farming, so I do get to this 
Ice Punch, yeah, again, I do apologize for like the frame drops, the, the glitchiness uh, throughout this video. It's, it's not too bad, but a uh, little, little annoying, I guess. But we're hanging in there. Um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get hit with this attack. Could have put in the Bash Shield on because my opponent was double debuffed, but in comes Vigoroth. At the end of the day, it wouldn't have mattered um, how I played this, right? I'm going to go ahead and shield this one up. Uh, yeah, I think there's an obstacle in the back, uh, but I end up quitting out before scene. <laughs> uh, but I do go ahead and throw this weather ball right now. My opponent will go ahead and shield that. And yeah, look at that. That's unfortunate. And yeah, at this point, I was calling the triple counter team, uh, so I, I, I gave up. Good game. Well played. Let's go ahead and move to the next one. Ooh, a Dragonair. Okay, so if it's the Meta Chamber Shield down in the back, looking pretty good. Although Shadow Dragonair's Dragon Breath damage is still adding up, even against a Bash Shield on. And the Aqua Tail is super effective, right? Uh, so, I'm gonna go ahead and go for the Stone Edge. My opponent will commit that shield. I do have to win Switch here because I am calling the Bash Shield on in the back. Uh, so, but I could still take an Aqua Tail, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But I will have to shield at some point uh, my opponent. I'm gonna go ahead and go for an attack. Uh, I do go ahead and shield this one up. It's gonna be an Aqua Tail, that's fine. Uh, my opponent has another one, so I'm gonna go ahead and shield this one up and go for the Fawn Down. Uh, so I do just that, and I do get that farm down. Very nice indeed. Uh, so yeah, getting that farm down. Out comes Metacham. So Metacham, uh, again, I I'm thinking that there's a bash shield down in the back. Obviously, I don't know at the time of playing. They could have adjusted the team, but that's what I'm calling. Um, so I can bring my nine tails in, and uh, lo and behold, the bash shield on is coming out. So I bring in Metacham, and that is going to be a good game. Very well played to my opponent. Yeah, this team. Just RPS is that team. Uh, whenever I see a Dragonair, a Shadow Dragonair in the lead, that's usually the team I call. Good game. Moving on, Bash Shield on into Reggie Steel. As I said, if there's a Steel type in the lead, what do you do? You have to stay in. Uh, if you're running Powder Snow at Lola Nine Tails, which I guess you could do, you no, you still can't go into Powder Snow again. Against Goliath and Stunfisk, you could, but uh, against Reggie Steel, you cannot. Um, so I just basically sacrificed the Reggie Steel. Uh, but it doesn't KO. I'm gonna be able to get off a of flamethrower. What do I do? Like, what do I do? Right? There's really no way to handle steel type leads. But my opponent switches out, probably to lure out, uh, try to lure out, uh, like the Night Tails. Yeah, I know this is return, but do I really want to shield this and have the Reggie Steel come in? You know, I was, I was uh, really, really uh, fighting. I don't know. <laughs> Tough. This is, this is obviously not gonna happen. Um, I do farm down, uh, which is fine. So, out comes uh, Bennett. So, it's a double ghost team. So, huge shout out to my opponent for running Shadow Bennett. Uh, spicy ghost type compared to some other ones like the Trevenant or even... Uh, what was that other ghost type? There's a couple ghost types. Um, Trevenant, Sableye. Um, Bennett, obviously, is a unique one. Kafabrigus, Runavigus. You get it. But either way, great games to all my opponents. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.